Before we begin our feature presentation special, there are no warning heads up for the following feature, so we're doing only Reddit TVMA. But there is one warning heads up, so please turn down on any devices we want to have good things, not have bad things. And now, before we get on the show, this video is sponsored by the City of Bloomington and Empire Collusion. Stay tuned at the end for our very special pouring matches from us. And now, enjoy the show. Hello everyone, my name is JXJ, or you can call me Johnny X Jensen. Welcome to the special presentation. Today, I'm taking you a brand new special has been never been released on this channel before, or anything that never been released before. Before that, I'm going to teach you guys some a little history lessons. Something that never been before. You have noticed on my JXJ 2.0 when beginning challenges with crazy things. On Johnny Axe's channel, I became Kids Friendly Channel, and I've been doing lots of live stream specials, which was very excellent and success. But then when I got older, times were started changing because of reasons. I was becoming adult, and that's where JXJ was starting to become a merchandise for adults, which it got cut fire, and that's when my channel got terminated. I hit over 234 subscribers until it was my fault. But then I came back in the top. Even I went down the bottom like I fall, I rise up again. I try again, and I did successfully. After JSD 2.0 became the new channel of the next level, the channel became merchandise for adults. At first, I had to figure out how I start things off again like I did before. And that was it. I need to put warning videos. And I told you before, but I'm, I'm just going to explain again. I started before on my channel, and I became a mature audience adult. And guess what? It works. I am very excited that over years ago, this channel has been became a mature audience for adults. But that's not all. It started with 234 subscribers on JXJ channel. But now, <laughs> I'm very surprised. We hit over 248 subscribers. That's intense. We never. And I do want to say to everyone in Coots Battle King, thank you so much for the best thing you ever experienced on my channel. And for the people, kindness and everything, thank you. Now, I did show you some things before. Um, opening box, reactions, every day I could. Except for one. I did not tell you. Jobs. 
I may have told you some things about jobs I've been doing, many things, but there are some scenes that I never told before on my channel. I started constructions back before, yes, but there's more details that I do it. Um, I started back in Jefferson High School with my first job, TJ Coffeehouse, which was first time for me. And there was a second job I was working, which I didn't know. Now, if you didn't know what's with TJ Coffeehouse is, TJ's Coffeehouse is actually the, it was kind of selling coffees, cocoa, smoothie, everything we could. And for us, we work very hard. Unfortunately, due to this reason here, the pandemic got us. TJ Coffeehouse went out of business. And sadly, this was truly the end of the line. Before that, I do want to say thank you to TJ Coffeehouse for all these years been working and thank you to the Jefferson High School still. You're the best. From JSJ. Still. Now there's more to it. After the end of lines for me, Jefferson, I move on to BTC, and things were starting to change for me. I started with three new jobs that I'd never see before on this surprising for me. <clears throat> three new jobs are delivering playos, bookshelves, and last but not least that this was new. Arc Valley Forge, which I was very surprised, and I do want to say thank you for Bloomington Public Schools and, of course, Arc Valley Verge for now letting us help. It was very tough and it's very challenging, but hey, things just got better. And I got better during Play-Oh delivery. I actually been, I did deliver once, and then I have made Play-Oh two times. Wow. Over years ago, for my teachers, we started with past teachers and new teachers too. Sadly, we missed some old teachers and we had new teachers. And this year, for new teachers, things were kind of bumpy ride, but hey, things went better at the end. And then at the end of the year, I told them I want to go back to doing the same thing before. And we had agreement terms for one last time. We did. I was back on the game and I showed people. Who's the charge here? Not exactly, but I show them how I do the style with doing Playo delivery and maybe Arc Valley Verge. And teachers were impressed for me. Thank you. And you see, there are things that pe teachers and some students never saw this. And for the first time you saw me, bam, you're welcome. Now, there are toughest jobs that I had to face that it was very tough before. Some of them were easy, some of them were middle, and difficult hard. The first hard and difficult challenge was very most challenging part, was tree trust. Was the most toughest thing ever. And I learned some lessons along the way. Even still, you work really hard, your pride can be crushed. And I made too much pride. So I had to move on from my second job. And I tried to ask one last option, is there a last list for me? And there was. Lucky me. My second job was Marriott's Hotel. It was tough, but it was fun. I met some people, and it was very nice. And there were break times. There were some partners I actually did. It was very tough. And it was some feedbacks I had to learn. But hey, I understand. I had to learn some ways. It's been tough, and it took me an entire couple months, but at the end, it was worth it. And success. And now, for the first time ever, I am very excited that maybe it's about time I tell you my third job. I have been keeping my mouth shut. And for one week, I give you guys a little special surprise. A little hint. A picture. For one week. And I'm very excited to announce that we have partnership four years ago. And sure, we had did on my main channel. But this is a special one. Today, for the first time, member, we have partnered the biggest company of all time and the biggest that started the history of the making since the beginning of time. The city of Bloomington. <clears throat> Sorry about that. For the first time ever, 
I'm going to take you something that never before. First things first. If you guys have been wondering, how did it all start when I became my first job? That's what you can see right now. And wonder about the best. I can't tell you details yet. I can't tell you. Well, you guys have to start level one. And that's why we're starting off with the first one. I met with some two companies. First, I met my officer, the police officer. And I met another one that there's going to be a special surprise. Two companies into one. For the first time ever, not only I will be partnership with the city of Bloomington, but for the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, I am partnered together with Proner. Uh, Power, I think that is. And if you see the image right now, that is. What it is, you'll find for more animations at the end, and I will explain what it is. If not, if you guys want to check out for more animations, link in the description below, and I'll talk about this at the end. But not being said, before we talk about anything we could, and we'll talk about this at the end, we have a very special video to show you guys that never been released on this channel, and it has been public on the Bloomington televisions. Bloomington TV, unfortunately. But today, for the first time ever, you are going to be seen for the first time on this channel for exclusive, and it has been never been received before. A little behind the scenes before the city of Bloomington started with this presentation. So, hope you guys are ready. I do want to say special thanks to Pollen and my partner, Grandpa, who was recording for this special. Hope you guys prepare this. And don't worry, I've talked to some people, including my partner, and he was okay. Hopefully his family is okay as well. I think he will understand. We have we we have been talking. We've been me we me we have talked to partners. We took some time, and I asked him if that's okay. He said sure. He's very happy, and I'm very happy too. Hope you guys prepare this for the first time ever on this channel. Sit back and enjoy. JX Taper Sense. Meet the City of Bloomington Council meeting. For the first time ever, this special video will be recorded by Grandpa. And I'm not sure Grandpa Dan will post this, but this will be a special exclusive to my channel. So, hold on your hats and enjoy special presentation meetings. And trust me, you might have to do this. Before we begin, all credit belongs to the City of Bloomington's and Bloomington's televisions. We do not see all rights to this one. Okay? You're welcome, by the way. And we have to we have to read our terms and conditioners. So hopefully, but the city of Bloomington, you're watching this. Please let us for this special occasion. And now, enjoy. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. <laughs> Timing is everything. I will call this. June 3rd, 2024, meeting of the Bloomington City Council for Order. Thank you to everyone who is here with us this evening. Thanks to everybody watching online. We will start our meeting as we always do. If you're able, if you could please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Once again, welcome to everyone. Thank you for being here this evening. Uh, we have a we have a full agenda and a lot of uh, important stuff going on this evening. I did want to start uh, before we get into our agenda and the approval of the agenda, uh, just recognizing and taking a moment to uh, recognize uh, Officer Jamal Mitchell from the Minneapolis Police Department who lost his life this week uh, in the line of duty, and it's uh, it's sad. This is the Second time since February we've been talking about this before a council meeting. And it, it just talks, it, it speaks of, of the, the work that police officers everywhere, certainly our police officers, the, the danger that they are in, the, the risks that they live with as part of their jobs every day, and sometimes the, 
the the fate that befalls him, and it's it's sad, and it's uh, it's heartbreaking. Uh, the morning after it happened, I, I texted, traded text with Mayor Fry, and offered the. The, the full resources of the Bloomington Police Department and the city of Bloomington to help in any way. And I know that our Bloomington officers were down there shortly after the incident helping out where they could. It, uh, it's, it's, as I said, something twice now in the last, since February. And as we know, Council, this is not, this is becoming frequent, far too frequent in the upper Midwest and, and certainly in Minnesota. And frankly, it, it, it has to stop. It has to stop. Gun violence in general is, is absolutely unacceptable. Gun violence against our, our public safety of, uh, officers and officials absolutely must end. So uh, if you'll join me in Bloomington, just uh, remembering Officer Mitchell and his family in your prayers and uh, offering your support to our friends in Minneapolis as we will continue to do that uh, as we go forward. Our first order of business this evening uh, is the approval of our agenda this evening, Council. We have uh, three introductory items. We have an introduction of new employees. Uh, we have our swearing in of our growth through opportunity program participants, and looking forward to hearing more about that. And then a proclamation regarding Pride Month. Our consent business is a beefy one this evening. I think we've got 24 items on that. 23, 24, uh, 22. Excuse me. A lot of uh, folks. A lot of things on the consent agenda. Councilmember Loman has got that for us this evening. Under our hearings, resolutions, and ordinances, we have two official public hearings. The first is a vacation of public drainage and utility easements uh, uh, over on the uh, east side uh, related to our sick property. Uh, item 4.2 is the public hearing for Hunt Electric, their uh, platting variants. Then we have two items under item four. Uh, first is a, they're, they're related obviously in, in so many ways. Item 4.3 is the resolution related to the environmental assessment worksheet at Kennedy High School. And 4.4 .4 is the uh, resolution related to the environmental assessment worksheet at Jefferson High School. And so those are our hearings, resolutions, and ordinances this evening. Under our organizational business, item 5.1 is uh, uh, a discussion about uh, leveraging our debt for our essential capital projects that we have on the, uh, on the docket. We're going to have a solid waste rate study presentation and then recommendations for our 2024 Blooming Arts Partnerships Grants Awards. And uh, I don't think it made the official agenda, but item 5.4 will wrap up as we always do. Item 5.4 is our City Council Policy and Issue Update. I don't think it was on the published agenda. I don't think it's online, but uh, I will add that in. So we'll, we'll officially change the agenda to include that as well. So that is our agenda this evening. Council, any additional changes or ad uh, additions to our agenda this evening? With that, I will move approval of our agenda this evening. Second. Motion and a second to approve tonight's agenda. No further council discussion on this. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 7-0. First up on our agenda is item 2.1, is our introduction of new employees. And I think we've got a number of new employees this week. Uh, on my list, I've got uh, our CFO, Lori Economy Scholler, kicking us off, introducing her new staff members in the finance department. Good evening and welcome. Good evening, Mayor. So, first up is Samira Toshami. Toshami. And uh, uh, Samira and her husband moved to the United States 26 years ago, and they have lived in Minnesota since. They have a son who lives in Washington, D.C., and they are currently members or currently residents of Bloomington and enjoy our great city. Her background has always included customer service, among other things, and recently at her previous position as a disability examiner for the state of Minnesota. In her free time, she likes to cook, read, garden, decorate, and she loves um, nature and always finds time for a walk, even in the winter. Tazami? Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you for having me here tonight. Thank you for coming and joining us, and uh, thank you for, welcome to Bloomington. Welcome to the city of Bloomington, not you live in the city of Bloomington, but welcome to the city, capital C of Bloomington. We're glad to have you here, and very glad to have you on our finance team. Welcome. Thank you. I enjoyed very much. And then we have Matt Osmundson, and Matt joined uh, finance in September as a customer service, um, customer billing specialist for our commercial accounts. He grew up in Adams, Minnesota, and after completing his undergraduate degree, he began working as a bookkeeper in his father's business while completing his master's degree at Mankato, 
When his dad decided to retire, Matt moved to the metro area and began um, working um, for Gopher State One. And then after that, he worked for Curry Insurance. And um, he is a former resident of Bloomington, and he now lives in Hopkins. And in his free time, he enjoys golf, riding his bicycle, and going to concerts. He is active. He is out, also an active volunteer, donating donating blood and platelets, helping out during concerts and events at the Cedar Culture Center, and working to serve meals for loaves and fishes in Central Lutheran Church. Welcome, Matt. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. Glad to have you. I, I can honestly say I've been to a lot of Minnesota cities. I don't think I've been to Adams. Where is Adams, Minnesota, and how big is it? Adams is a town of 800. It's uh, near Rochester, Austin, that area, southeast Minnesota. So. Very good. Well, welcome. Glad to have you on board. Welcome to our finance department. Thank you. Thank you much. Next on my list, uh, Mr. Verbrugge. Yep. Rather than coming down, I'm just going to invite Caitlin to go up to the podium. And as Caitlin goes up there, um, Caitlin uh, Danielsuk is our new uh, administrative uh, intern in the city manager's office. Uh, comes to us most recently from the League of Minnesota Cities, where she had a stint as well. Uh, and we are lo really looking forward to her being with us for the next year. So, Caitlin, I'll invite you to share more about your uh, personal journey that brought you here. Uh, thank you. Um yeah, as Jamie said, I'll echo that. I've been involved in local government and internships and undergrad in both of my graduate degree now, and so I'm really happy to be in Bloomington and everything that the city stands for, um, and specifically working with the five-year strategic plan. So. Well, welcome aboard. We're very glad to have you. Where, where are you working on your master's? Uh, the U of M at the Humphrey School. Oh, very good. Good, yep. good. So. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you. And our final bit of introductions this evening, Diane Kirby has a number of folks, new folks in public health. Good evening, Mayor and City Council. It is my pleasure to welcome five new members of our public health division. And we'll start with Alicia Ugarte Del Rio. As our new Community Health Services Manager in Public Health, Alicia oversees the Family Health, WIC, Disease Prevention and Control, and Community Resource Teams. Alicia brings eight years of local public health experience from the front lines and organizational leadership levels. She holds a Doctor of Nursing Practice degree from St. Catherine University and a Master of Science in Nursing Education from Bethel University. A Bloomington resident, Alicia has come full circle in her career. She fell in love with the public health area when she was placed with the City of Bloomington as a baccalaureate nursing student for her community clinical. And she says she is honored to return to the City of Bloomington nine years later as a public health leader. Please welcome Alicia. Thank you so much. I'm just so honored and excited to be here as a Bloomington resident. And this is the place, like I said, where I fell in love with public health. So I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. Well, welcome. Glad to have you. Thanks. Tisha. <laughs> Tisha Bratchard started last month in the newly created position of Public Health Supervisor for Substance Abuse Prevention, Well-Being, and Policy. With nine years of dedicated advocacy and affordable housing, Tisha brings a wealth of experience and passion to her work. Her expertise spans affordable housing advocacy, small business ownership consulting, and a deeply personal understanding of the challenges faced by loved ones dealing with opioid addiction and trauma. Tisha is not only a dedicated mother, but a committed community builder and an advocate for equity through holistic, trauma-informed care. Tisha's multifaceted background and lived experiences has uniquely positioned her as a compassionate and effective advocate and leader. Please welcome Tisha. Welcome, Tisha. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. We're excited to have you on board. Welcome. Jen. Jennifer Schreifels is the Disease Prevention and Control Supervisor in the Public Health Division. She oversees a team of public health nurses who provide direct services to community members. Jen has worked in local public health for more than 10 years, primarily focused on infectious disease prevention and control and employee health and safety. Jen holds a Master of Nursing degree from the University of Minnesota, and she is currently working on a Master of Public Health in Occupational and Environmental Health Nursing, also at the U of M. Please welcome Jen. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome, Jen. Thank you. Natalie. Natalie Gomez is a WIC peer breastfeeding counselor in public health. As a mom of three, she is happy to share her experiences with others. 
Natalie was a teen mom and went back to get her high school diploma after pregnancy, was, but was not able to continue her education. Now she is looking forward to helping other moms on the same journey know all about the great opportunities in store for them while still caring for their babies. Natalie lives in Bloomington and is excited to help guide all the moms that she's working with with as much knowledge as possible, something she says she wished she could have had during her pregnancy. Please welcome Natalie Gomez. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here and just join everybody. Thank you. Great to have you on board. Welcome. And finally, we have another Bloomington resident, Daisy Molina. Daisy is also a peer, WIC peer breastfeeding counselor. She's a mom to a 16-month-old, and she is expecting her second baby in September. Before her pregnancy, Daisy enrolled in a community college to pursue nursing, and she was only able to attend one semester before giving birth to her first child. As a teen mom, Daisy was grateful for the help and support she received from WIC and her family members during her motherhood journey. Daisy, again, lives in Bloomington. She's happy to help other moms as best she can with her own personal experience. Please welcome Daisy Molina. Hi, thank you for having me. Welcome, Daisy. Thank you. Great to have you on board. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. And uh, welcome to everybody. I, I'm so impressed. I don't know if you are, Council, with the, the experience and the qualifications and the, the talent these, all the folks that we heard from bring to the Bloomington City staff. And it, it says a lot, I think, about them, certainly, and but their, their willingness to serve the city of Bloomington and the residents of Bloomington. So welcome to all of you. Thank you for being here with us this evening. Thank you for representing Bloomington. In a lot of ways, you're the face of Bloomington now. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna, uh, people are going to see you and think Bloomington. So thank you. Thanks for being here tonight, and welcome aboard. So. Item 2.2 on our agenda is a swearing in of our Growth Through Opportunity Program participants. And Deputy Chief Bittney is going to kick this off for us. Good evening, DC. Welcome. Thank you. I'm actually going to have one of our officers, Officer Des Daniels, kind of come up, give a little bit of background on this program because this is one of uh, his ideas within the police department to kind of bring this thing forward. So I kind of figured if there was a microphone and Des was here, we, we were going to we were going to hear from we were going to hear from Des. Much better than I yes. <laughs> no. So um, I didn't know I'd be talking at all today, but growth through opportunity. We um, connected with empower inclusion. I actually went to a training and heard um, Alex and Paul talk at the training and their empower inclusion. And what it is is it's a program where Gage and Johnny are going to intern through the city. They're going to be able to go around from the police department to environmental health, the fire department, communications, the Mall of America is partnering with us. And it's a 11 week or 10 week program where they're going to be interning on Mondays and Wednesdays or tomorrow they get to go to Cops and Cones with the police department. So, um, And they're just going to get job opportunity and learn new things, build their resumes, and you never know what happens after that. So. Sounds like a fantastic program. And so uh, Mayor, City Council, City Manager, as part of that, anybody that comes to the police department, we're going to have them take an oath. And so they're gonna, we're going to ask both of them to step up and uh, take this oath for us. So please, gentlemen, step up here, please. <laughs> are they coming up here? Or are they well, I want to make sure they get a chance to get pictures. I'm guessing pictures. Uh, actually, uh, if, if you're taking pictures, do not be shy. We're never shy during swearing in. So come on up. You, if you want to come right in front of us here, you can come wherever you need to get to get a good picture. Please don't be shy. A... You, guys, you guys can face this way. So then you guys can take the picture. Does that work? That'll work. All right. I'll wait till you get set. Yep. You don't have to. You ready? All right, gentlemen, raise a hand, please, for me, okay? And just repeat after me. I, Johnny Jensen. I, I'm Johnny Jensen. I, Gage Perryman. I, Gage Perryman. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. To support. See? The Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. In the state of Minnesota. The state of Minnesota. And faithfully discharge. The faith discharge. The duties. The duties. As a growth. As a growth. Through opportunity. Through opportunity. Inter intern for the city of Bloomington. Intern the city of Bloomington. Minnesota to the best. Minnesota to the best. Of my judgment and ability. Of 
judgment and my ability. Of judgment and my ability. Great. Welcome. You should get in there too. <laughs> so now, Gage and Johnny, the tradition is after you're sworn in, you have to come and, and be greeted by all the council members. So if you want to come over here and say hello. Yes, yeah, good to see you. Very nice to meet you as well. Well, congratulations, Gage and Johnny, and thank you, Officer Des, uh, for for being the uh, the thought process behind this. I think it's a great program, and looking forward to seeing our continued participation here in the city of Bloomington. Well done. Thank you. So long. Well, guys, thanks for watching this special bus station of JXD Meets, the City of Bloomington Council. At first, I was a little nervous, but then I succeed at the end, and best of all, I actually met the City of Bloomington Council at the end. It, it was very nice. Well, before we go, stay tuned because we have a special breaking news here, and it's going to blow your mind, and there's going to be more to it, so keep an eye on that. I do want to apologize about the back of the lights, okay? All right. So, before we go, I'm going to dip the... Sorry. I'm going to discuss what the things I actually did during the first week of my job and how I did. And I'm going to teach you guys a little bit of history as a bonus to it. Before we do, I do want to say special thanks to the City of Bloomington and Empire Collusion for inviting us to a special event with my family and my grandpa. And special thanks to the City of Bloomington and Empire Collusion for letting us record for this special event one time only for the console. Last but not least, special, well, not last but not least, two things. I did console me? Yeah. And um, special thanks to Grandpa Dan for letting us record for this special event. And special thanks to Empire Collusion for, I think, Empire Collusion? Yeah. Empire Collusion for uh, recording and taking pictures, which we'll discuss more about in the future pretty soon. And before we go, I think it's about time we do this we've been waiting for. Today's video is brought to you by the City of Bloomington and Empire Collusion, and we're going to talk about it right now. Let's start with a Chapter 1, the police station. Now, how did the police station start? It started way before, back in the 1950s. When they launched Happen Year, the police station started with the continued thing with truth and justice. They save the day, and they always do every time. So you guys want to check out? Well, check out the link. But I'll talk about four more missions for this one. But this week, we've been learning about some things I've been learning about. I've been learning about what the police, they do, something like that. Um, I've been learning about what they do. Um, we learn about the, the vehicles, how it all started, so it makes sense. And it was actually fun. We talked to them. They were nice giving us. And we had some fun little chit chat for Empire Collusion and my partner as well. I think. Yeah. And there's more to it. This week we had a special event. Actually, last week, two weeks ago, we had a special event called. We have a special event for the City of Bloomington partner with Scoop. Yeah, no joking. Scoop, the ice cream star. I'm actually surprised I got invited for a special event, which I will have to make a special, also special thanks to the scoop for this one. We have to decide to do a first ever kids eat ice cream for free for only one day with an event, and we gave them a tickets for a special for people who gets free ice cream, and we're very nice. We gave them a lot of tickets. I was standing. It was been tough, but it's worth it. And we had some carnival games like um, we had the duck war game, and we had the beanbag toss and we got some coolest prizes along the way and I do want to say it was fun 
I decided to actually stand this time to be part of it, be part of the Bloomington Police Academy, and it was very fun. Well, not Police Academy, uh, Police Chief. Honor. So, thank you for that. And, special thanks to the school for inviting us. Yes, I may, I do, I'm going to make a shout out to the scoop. So, special thanks to Scoop Ice Cream Store for inviting us to the event, including our giving away our ice cream as a bonus to it. And extra special thanks to Scoop, who gave us an ice cream as a bonus to it for helping us at the end. And you know what I actually got? I got mm, 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 root beer float. If you guys want to check out Scoop, I'll put in the link description below for Google Maps, and you guys can find out for more animations. I'm going to give them rate five-star ratings. I actually did not do it, but I will do it later soon today. I just been busy, okay? But this time I will do it. So thank you for Scoop for inviting us. And now, before we, before we, <coughs> before we start with the what the interns is, let's talk about what we got at the end. So before we say goodbye to see Bloomington uh, Police, which we will, will we will return soon. Um, they gave us a nice gift for a nice one. Not only they gave us a, a intern hat for something like that. They also gave us some goodies at the end for helping us from the scoop place, which was nice. First up, I chose a blue color bag because it was nice. Alright, so let's get started. So, um, we're going to do each by small, and then we'll do biggest at the end. First things first we actually got in is uh, a clipboard. I think I remember this one because basically it's actually for, for pictures for arts. And then next thing we actually got is the first ever pen, which I'm actually surprised we I actually got another pen. Which I'm actually impressed. Um, how do I get this down? Oh. At least they have a close thing. Next thing I actually got is a color pencil, which I think you guys will know why this does. Um, if you get hot and warmer, it changes colors. As you can see right now. Next thing I actually got is um, uh, a cup for the City of Bloomington. And I did hear last time during my last work, they said if you if you use this, I think it glows in the dark. I'm not sure that's possible with the police thing, but I'm going to test out pretty soon later today. I'm just going to put stuff right here. Bumpy Smarts. And I also got a putty as a bonus to it nicely. We also got some goodies along the way. We also got, um, let me think. Uh, hold on, I think. Yeah, there's two things. Uh, yeah. We also got, um, tattoos. And we also got the police sticker, which I know where the police sticker is. Um, it could be that I... Oh, I forgot. I, I did... I had to retake it a lot. I also got the Ruby Cushion and a bonus. Um, a police badge sticker, which was very nice. And a lips, uh, lipsticks, which I need to put on now, because basically my lips have been... Hmm. Tastes like mint. That makes sense. Okay, the next thing I actually got is the pizza cutter, which I'm actually surprised they actually hooked me up with a nice pizza cutter as a bonus to it. So now I can cut pizza. <clears throat> Last but not least, the City of Bloomington police gave me this as a bonus nice goodbye with the City of Bloomington clued the police, this one, which was very nice, and it started... I knew it! 1953. I was close enough, but yeah. Thank you to the city. Thank you to the police for wonderful gifts. And yeah, that was very nice at the end. Now then, on to some shocking news that you guys didn't notice. You see, guys, we're here to help you guys out. And that's why this video is sponsored by the City of Bloomington and Empire Collusion. First up, let's talk about the City of Bloomington. 
the reason why we're here to help you guys out to learn about it. And that's why, for the first time ever, we are officially the GTO interns. This is going to be the first time we're helping you guys to learn about it. Right now, we are the first ones. We are the chosen ones. We're here to help the Bloomingtons out that's been before. Over years ago, this history of Bloomingtons, things been been the best. Some of them been great. Some of them been worse. Some of them been challenging, including <clears throat> 2020s. But with the help of the Bloomington, make powerful enough. And that's why Bloomington's here to help for. And if you join the City of Bloomington Interns Help, you'll be learning about more about it, not just the police this one, you'll be learning about more about it, such as the fire stations, and everything we could. And that's why not only you'll be partnered with the City of Bloomington, but Empire Collusions will also join in for the fun to learn about all that. And we'll talk about more about Empire Collusions first after the City of Bloomington. What it is, you'll be learning about with the first thing you're going to start with. And that's why you're starting off with this first level, the police thing. You'll be learning about more about things pretty soon. And you want to find out for more information about anything or anything you could, go online to www.thecitybloomington.com and you can find out for more how. You can check out the website for more details to find out how. You can join in for interns that include the police, the police work, fire stations, and many more you will see. Um, this will include the police, um, police station, the fire station, and the war station that we just started, and uh, which will include powder. And there will be some special events. We include like the scoop thing you we see. Um, there will be special events at the end, and there's more cup. It begins all summer long during June through all week there, until August. And after you're done with your interns, you can make your own decision if you want to choose which one. And after you make decision, you make a right choice to join us. If you want to find out for more animations or anything, go online to www.thecitybloomington.com or check out the website to find out for more animations about the interns or anything. You can find more details and learn about more about what it is. Also, now that we're moving on, let's move on to the next thing we're going to be sponsored by. Empire Collusion. Empire Collusion is now part of the City of Bloomington partnership for the first time, and we're here to learn about it. She will be taking some pictures and videos to show you about how the history is about and teach you guys. Once you show this special presentation, um, you'll learn about more. And then you'll be experienced to find for more animations. Now, I actually checked out, I don't have the website, but she did give me the website where it is. And I think it's right here. Yeah. All right. To find for more animations of the city, to find for more animations about her or the rest of the companies, go online to www.empirecollusion.org Empire to find for more animations about it. Thank you to City of Bloomington and Empire Collusion for this sponsor. And now, it's time we go. But, huh, we're not done yet, guys. I have a special, bigger news that will blow your mind. You may have noticed about I told you some things, but you want to learn about it. As a matter of that, you want to learn about histories. That's why, for the first time ever, me, JXD YouTube, and of course, the City of Bloomington and Empire Collusion are teaming up for a special presentation event to teach you guys. School might be ending pretty soon, but when fall comes in, we will be teaching guys. You may have learned about all the histories, everything you could, but there is one histories that you never saw before. I don't know what the name idea is, but then I found out a good one. Stay tuned for our very special second document story coming soon, which was the first one fail, but the second one won't be bad this time. For the first time ever, we're putting together a very special document story to bring you the world premiere special. And trust me, things will change every day and ever. Join me, Father Empire Pollution, and the City of Bloomington to bring you the special presentation. JSJ YouTube, Empire Collusion, and the City of Bloomington is proudly presents the history of the City of Bloomington.
are the history of Bloomington, a better name. For the first time ever, you'll be learning about more about cops, police, and many more things here. But we're also going to take you more deeper behind the scenes and surprises along the way. We can't tell you for more animations yet because we're keeping it surprise. We can't tell you, unfortunately. So that's sadly enough. So what does this mean? When this special comes out? Well, I'm going to tell you. The history of Bloomington's coming soon, and it's gonna be a long, long time. So be patient, okay? Not only you'll be seeing this, but there's going to be some special secrets that never been discovered. No, not the worker location we're not gonna show you, but there are some special locations that we'll be allowed to show you. I can't tell you yet, but you guys are gonna have to find out. Lastly, I have a special one more announcement to make. Now we're partnered with the city of Bloomington, we have found out some secrets about the upcoming new release war park. We can't tell you yet, but I'll give you guys a little heads up. They're still talking about it, and they will start working on it next year. I will be keeping an eye to talk about it for more about the new war parks pretty soon next year. Once the time comes, we will be prepared to talk about this. So keep an eye for the Mystery Caves brand new water park coming soon. And once that opens, I will be ready for action. Until then, stay tuned. Well, I think that's all the way. I do want to say thank you to Empire Pirate Collusion and the City of Bloomington for a sponsor. And thank you for inviting us one last um, thank you for inviting us, uh, inviting us again. And thank you to everyone, also fans, for joining us for a special presentation. To find out for more animations, look through the link in the description below and check out the website at www.thecityofbloomington.org or .com or check out empirecollusion.org. Until next time, this is JXJ signing off, and thank you for watching this special presentation. Also, if you guys want to check out for more animations for updates about new Warpark or anything, Subscribe to the City of Bloomington YouTube channel. They have more common including breaking news here from other things. I'll also put the link in the description below. Thank you to the City of Bloomington. And thank you to Empire Collusion. And thank you to everyone who watched this special presentation. I'm your host, JSJ, and the rest of the Bloomingtons. From all of us, thanks for watching. Good night, and we'll see you next time on JSJ 2.0. Later.